Hello students, today we are going to see decision making statements. Decision making statements are also called selection statements. In Java, we have if conditions and switch case. These statements allow to control the flow of execution of a program which is based on the conditional expressions given. Let us create a class. Conditional. So we are going to see only if. So conditional if. Okay. So delete all these. Let us take a code from the previous one until we take the input. So until this we copy to here and then we paste. Let us change this. Conditional if. If. So let us have an example program to find whether the given number is even or not. And so we have here importing statement, then class as conditional. Conditional if and then we take a number to check whether given number is even so just we assign a variable single variable n and then we don't consider these and then scanner obj let it be obj or else we want to change we can change this yes uh, so system dot order enter the number enter the number and then let it be in the same line print so user enters the number and then we take it as n is equal to object name that is yes we have given now yes dot next int of so after taking the number, we should know logically how to check whether the given number is even. Basically, when even number is there, we divide by 2, then we don't get any remainder. So now let us give the condition. If condition is given inside the parenthesis, if n mode 2 is equal to equal to see single equal to if you give that becomes an assignment operator which assigns the value if you give double equal to then it says it checks whether the condition is true or not whether it is equal or not so this is called conditional equal to equal to two sorry equal to equal to zero and then we say the result through printing statement system dot out dot print line up. So we say this is even number then. Even. See the if condition can be uh, without block of code when there is single printing statement or single statement is given. And then we close the method, close the class. Let us compile this. No syntax error. Let us execute this. We give us 98. So it is even. It says if we give a number which is not a even number, odd number, it is not going to say anything. Just it is going to be like that. If we wanted to print even. Uh, odd number so we will have the else condition here else is given else there is no condition needed to give to be given because we give here system dot out dot print line of odd so let us compile this so now even it is odd number it is going to say the result so now 53 odd 
if you wanted to check a series of conditions then we need if else if ladder so for example if we give a student mark then it says which grade it is for example above 80 that is a distinction and then 60 to 80 may be first class 40 to 60 may be uh, second class and then lesser than 40 it may be fail mark so let us have a, a program for this so we give first we let us write these conditions in the comment line so we have here if to a given whether number is sorry, we will delete this whether to print the to print the grade of the student so if mark is greater than 80 and lesser than or equal to 100 then distinction distinction says if greater than 60 and lesser than not equal to lesser than eighty, then it says first class. So if it is greater than forty, greater than or equal to we can check equal to both the same equal equal to greater than equal to greater than or equal to or equal to greater than or equal to equal to and lesser than lesser than 60 say second class second class if mark is below 40 okay fail so let us consider this let us take uh, input as mark or m and then we are going to get the mark enter the mark so here the variable is changed m so it is taken now we are going to check the range so for this we need to uh, have the logical operator called and operator so let us consider m is greater than or equal to 80 and and is the and operator and m is lesser than uh, lesser than or equal to 100 we say as yes, distinction so else is going to be the last condition just create one more condition say it is greater than or equal to 60 and lesser than 80 so it says first class so if it is greater than 40 and lesser than 60 say second class second class else it is going to be last condition we don't need to check so we are not going to give any condition here so here it is not if we supposed to give else if 
else if else if else so this is the else else if ladder compile this right click on this we will check all the ranges say 98 distinction say 45 second class first class say 30 sorry we I think we have not changed the okay we have not changed the printing statement here so we say fail and so compare this and then it is going to say fail 30 fail I think you learnt uh, if condition today let us see switch case statement in next session